Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Today I wanted to share with you some of my tips for Kingdom Come Deliverance. Please know that the game is very story rich, so there might be some small spoilers in this video. Consider yourself warned. Saving Dilemma Saving in Kingdom Come Deliverance is a bit counterintuitive, as you can only save at certain points, like beds and baths, and the only way to manually save anywhere in the world is by drinking Savior Schnapps, which might make you an alcoholic. Your favorite. Save your schnapps. So the mantra, save early and save often, that holds true for many RPGs, does not work in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Unless you use a mod. That's right, there's a mod that lets you save whenever you want without needing to drink the schnapps. It's a real lifesaver if you are like me and enjoy exploring every nook and cranny and thusly getting yourself stuck in places you can't get out without reloading. A link to the mod will be in the description below this video. Fine loss, eh? Combat and Weapons Combat in Kingdom Come Deliverance is a serious affair and not to be taken lightly. When choosing your weapon, it's important you don't just check which one does the most damage, but which one you can actually use to its full effect. Kill it, Rod. I got the bastard down. If your skill is not high enough to use a certain weapon, your ability to wield it will be greatly diminished. If the skill level requirement is written in red, then you can't use the said weapon to its full potential. Ah! Another important part when choosing a weapon is also its durability. The lower it is, the less damage the weapon will do. You can and you should repair your weapon of choice at a local grindstone or by paying the blacksmith. Scouting and Stamina some quests will have you deal with larger quantities of enemies. In that case, it's very beneficial that you try and scout ahead and see how many of them are there, what type of enemies they are and how they are equipped instead of just charging in. Thusly, you can pick weapons best suited for job at hand or pick your opponents off from afar. Would you like to try it? Also, when you're in combat, keep in mind not to deplete your stamina completely. It can work as a reserve health for you, as enemy attacks will first deplete your stamina bar before taking chunks off of your health. Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. Always be careful when approaching a fight. Your health cannot regenerate in combat, and even if you win a fight, you might later succumb to injuries sustained while fighting. Always keep a couple of bandages at hand, and remember, pen is mightier than the sword. Day and Night Cycle The Day and Night Cycle is something you should pay great attention to. Kingdom Come Deliverance features a living, breathing world where people have to eat, drink and of course sleep. It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? Thusly, when you receive side quests, it's a good idea to complete them as soon as possible, or the world will move on. Most of the time everything will be okay, aside from you not getting the reward, but sometimes important NPCs may die or get mad at you for not being punctual. But you need to speak to my uncle first. Use nighttime to your benefit. It's much easier sneaking around enemy camps when most of them are asleep. The same goes if you're trying to assassinate someone or lift some valuable items off of people or their houses. Stealing and crime. Stealing can be an extremely profitable affair but you must make absolutely sure that you are not seen doing the deed. Being spotted looting someone's house is a good way to get your ass into a prison cell and diminish your hard-earned reputation in 15th century Bohemia. You're going nowhere, except back inside. But for the brave, stealing is a great way to make money. You have to make sure to sell your stolen goods in another town or even wait a couple of days so people forget about the theft. Trying to sell an item to the trader you stole it from might be a terrible idea. So get out of here. Also, never linger for too long at the scene of a crime. In towns, and especially near the castles, guards may approach you and ask to search you. It is wise to try to steal from places in the vicinity of towns and then quickly stash your stolen goods. Got you. Personal stashes. You're not a mule, so you can't carry everything you come across in the world. So your personal interdimensional stash is a great place to hold your stolen goods for a while before you try selling them. But it's unlocked after you reach Ratai at the end of the intro and will share the inventory with any chest you unlock across the whole world. 
all you need to do is pay for a rest at an inn and you'll get access to a bed and a chest containing all of your items. Hey, youngster, come here. After a while, you'll also receive a horse. You can use your horse as a mobile inventory to transfer items you looted in the world to your magic bed chest. Lockpicking Now if you want to steal really valuable items, you'll soon have to try your hand at lockpicking. For those that tried it already, I'm sure you can confirm that it's not the easiest thing in the world, to put it lightly. In fact, it's one of the hardest minigames in Kingdom Come Deliverance. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? It's very hard, but as always, practice makes better. My only tip here is to ask the miller in Rote to teach you how to pick locks, which will net you a couple lock picks for free. Save the game before then, then go ham and practice until you break all of your lock picks. Reload and try again until you're confident in your skills. No time for wealth. Better go and join some medicant order then, friend. Ha! Herbalism and Alchemy. If you're not using the save mod I mentioned earlier, then you're probably always short on savior snaps. They are pretty expensive, but if you know what you're doing, and with some work you can make them yourself and earn some coin on the side. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Q Herbalism. Herbalism is a great way to make money early on. As you travel, you'll find the world is full of flowers that you can pick, leveling your herbalism skill as you do so. They have very low weight, so you can carry plenty and sell for an okay money. As you pick more and more, your skill will increase, giving you more and more ingredients per herb you pick. Don't you have a strip of clean cloth for me, good sir? And then comes alchemy, where you can mix and match your herbs and eventually make your own savior snaps. And of course, many different potions for fun and profit. I've got nothing, clear off. Food and health. I'm sure everyone noticed that Henry will get hungry and can even die of starvation if you don't properly feed him. But there's something you might not know. Henry can get sick if he eats too much. Overstuffing him with roasted boar meat might seem fine to you, but he'll get overfed and won't be able to use his abilities to full extent anymore for a time. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. He can also get food poisoning if he eats food that has low durability. You should always avoid any food that has its durability written in red numbers. There's plenty of food in the world and you should never get so hungry that you have to start eating rotting apples. You can find pots you can eat from for free all around the world or steal some bread from a baker. It's up to you. I see you survived. Dress for the occasion. In the world of King and Come Deliverance, you should always try to dress up for the occasion. People will take note of how you look. If you show up dripping blood from your last murder, with your clothes in tatters, you can be sure merchants will not enjoy that. Oh shit, you're covered in his blood! You can impress certain people, like traders, by dressing in high quality clothes or intimidate others by wearing impressive armor and a good weapon. Make sure to dress up for the occasion, and please, wash yourself before coming to my house, you filthy peasant! I like to get in a fight now and again, and I've got the blood to show for it. So what? As a bonus tip, I encourage you to always keep a spade at hand. You never know what kinds of awesome treasures you could unearth by digging at the right spot. You can pick one up at Miller's in Ratai right after you completed the intro segment. So. Let's get to it. That concludes my tips for Kingdom Come Deliverance I wanted to share with you today. I'm sure there's plenty more wisdom to share out there, and if you have any tips of your own, please do not hesitate to share them with the community in the comments down below. Let's help each other. Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, check out my channel for more guides and daily let's plays. I'm sure you'll find something you like. Told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and get notified when my videos go live. There's plenty every day. Oh, and check out my Kingdom Come Deliverance Let's Play series. It's a fun one, I promise.